So I finally finished my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 overheating test and I have the results here with me. Plus, I've learned something very interesting. So please make sure you watch till the end. But first, let me show you my test setup. So this is my test. This is our all the settings that I'll be testing. The room temperature is 30.3 degrees Celsius. I have my phone here and the Osmo Pocket 3 here pointed to the uh, printed settings that I made so I won't forget. And I have lights here and this thing, this thing generates a bit of heat but not that much. Um, I have fan here but it's not blowing. I only use it when I am cooling down the Osmo Pocket before I start testing again and the AC is off. I have the door open just a little bit and no direct wind blowing the Osmo Pocket 3. So that's my setup just to show you how I'm testing this. This test took three days to complete and I have to make sure I fully cool down my camera, recharge, and record again to be sure that I'll be getting the same results. I actually had to run some of the test multiple times just to be sure because I got different variations but at the end I think I finally got it. I did that test every single bit of combinations but I think you'll get an idea how the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 performs in terms of overheating. So let's start. So all my tests have the same settings except for the resolution and the frame rate as well as the LCD brightness which I set to 50%. I think if we're trying to make the most out of it in terms of overheating, we shouldn't be setting it to 100% anyway. But if you do, please take that into consideration when testing. So let's start with the normal color settings. Just keep in mind that most of my tests have the battery handle attached. And this is where it gets interesting later on because I'll be testing this without the battery handle attached. And like I said, it's somewhat surprising but logical in a way. So let's begin. So with the normal color settings, we can do 4K 30, 60 to 120, and we can do 1080 to 240. I didn't do 1080-60, but I think you'll get the idea when you see these results. So for 4K 30fps, it did not even shut down because of overheating. I actually ran out of disk storage. Uh, I was using only 128 gigs, and I was able to record 215 minutes. And I ran out of storage before the DJI Osmo Pocket overheated. And then for 4K60, I did get 48 minutes and 11 seconds. For 1080 240, I got 18 minutes and 59 seconds. For 4K 120, I got 14 minutes and 14 seconds. So what does this tell us? I think it's safe to say that 4K 30, even 4K 24 won't shut down DJI Osmo Pocket 3 as long as you didn't start the camera warm. So Let's go to HLG. HLG doesn't have 4K 120 and 1080 240. Basically, 4K 120 and 1080 240 are slow motion. And slow motion doesn't have HLG or D-Log. You can only shoot normal. So I'm not including it here. So for HLG 4K 30, I was able to record until I ran out of memory. So I was able to record 183 minutes. And for 4K60, I was able to record 21 minutes and 26 seconds. And then going to the D-Log. So for 4K30 D-Log, my camera overheated before I ran out of storage. And for 4K60, it's 23 minutes and 23 seconds. Now, if we compare normal HLG and D-Log, what we can see here is that 4K 30 HLG and normal, you'll be able to run your camera without overheating until you run out of storage. And for D-Log, your camera will overheat before you run out of storage. 
Now again, this is when the battery handle is attached. And then I got to thinking, what would happen if I remove the battery grip or the battery handle? So this is the test result. It's a bit surprising, but logical in a sense. So without the grip, I was able to record 105 minutes and 47 seconds. But with a grip, I was able to record 48 and 11 seconds. It, it surprised me initially because I thought, isn't that the purpose of this battery grip so you could record more? But then I realized what's logical about that. Most of the electronic devices that we have, phones, cameras, when you use them while you're charging, it heat ups faster compared to using it without charging. So using this battery grip basically will charge your will charge your camera while you're using it, thus making it much hotter. So that's what I think is happening. So correct me if I'm wrong, comment down below if you think I'm wrong and what you think could be causing it. But based on my tests here, I did test this twice by the way, just to be sure. And I got the same results. So what we learned here is that if you want to record more without overheating, don't use the battery handle. Moving forward, um, this is just a comparison of all the tests, including the test without the battery handle. So as you can see here, 4K30, and I would also assume 4K24 using HLG and normal will be able to record until you run out of memory without overheating anyway or until your battery is depleted and then you can do 4k 60 normal without without the battery handle and you'll be able to record more the most power hungry settings in this case is the 4k 120 which makes sense because you're storing more information and there you go this is my overheating test for the dji osmo pocket 3 and at the end of this video, I'll show you the tests that I did. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And till the next video.